es bambinita. Bambini, bambini. I'm a little chora, it's bambini. Come let's learn in various fun way. It's an educational TV show. Thank you. Nice meeting all of you. Nice Don't worry, be happy. Welcome to your number one educating, informative, and entertaining show, Bambini to the Whole World. Today, we have one of our favorite personalities in our midst. She's the person of Fatty. I hope you know her, right? So, I'm going to have a chit chat with her to have fun and to know more about her. We go for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. It's Bambini. Bambini. Thank you so much for having me, Ellen. Oh, Hello, thank everyone. You. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored to be here. Oh, we are so honored to have you. <laughs> okay, now to Fazi, this um, are our kids. Okay. It's a big grace, international Montessori. Oh, okay. So we are going to have a chit chat with sure, you. Sure. So before we start, they will mention their name. Okay. For you to know them. All better. right. Okay, so we start with you. Sherise. 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 Hi, Sherise. Um, my name is Jojo. Jojo, nice one. I'm Edward. Edward. And Sefa Kofa, you can call me Sefa. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm Fati. Nice to meet you all. Nice, nice to meet you too. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, I remember. So They're lovely. Fatih, we are going to have, um, start with your educational part. Okay. Okay. So, you're going to know more about you. Okay. So, I want to know who Auntie Fati is. Yeah. <laughs> So my name is Fati. I'm a Ghanaian. I'm from the Eastern region of Ghana, to be precise, Chebi. Okay. Yes, I'm an artist, and family comes first to me. Yes, I love good vibes. I like to give good vibes. I love everything about music and instruments. Okay. So that is me. Okay. Yes. Any questions to ask her? Yes. Did you go to a school to learn music? No. <laughs> I didn't go to school to learn music. I, I, in fact, I wanted to be a teacher. So yes, in my uni days, I studied um, sociology and linguistics, yes. So with my junior high school, I attended um, St. Mark um, Junior High, yes. And with my senior high, I attended Sunyani Senior High, Susek. So yes, I was far <laughs> from Accra to Sunyani. <laughs> it was so, easy. Yes. It was easy, yeah, I know, right? Okay, any other questions? Yeah. I want to ask you, when you were in school, were you ready to be a no, in fact, music was no, and I wasn't even thinking about music. I didn't even know that I could sing. Actually, yes, it was this one. I remember in back in the days, I had this friend. She knew how to sing and learn songs. So I was so fascinated. I was like, wow, I want to also learn how to sing. So I went to her and I was like, teach me how to sing. Teach me how to learn the lyrics to sing. So I, I quite remember my first song was um, 
a Westlife song. Okay. You know, then times Westlife yeah, were, yeah. Life was so over. I learned the song, Queen of My Heart, yes, okay. that song. So I learned it and I like how I felt. You know, it's, sometimes it makes you cry, sometimes it makes you yeah. happy. So I said, no, I like music. Okay. So still then I didn't think I wanted <laughs> to become, I wanted to be a teacher. Okay. So yes, it was my, my, my teacher who discovered that I could sing. So like in the midst of the class, she just points me out to sing. Okay, was yes. that um, during JHS? My JHS? junior high school, yeah, okay. JHS, yes. Oh, okay. So that is how come. And still, I wanted, I didn't want to have anything to do. I want to be a, to become a teacher. So by this time, you're calling me Madam. Madam, 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 Madam yes. So yes, that was it. Music was not part of the my journey, no, my career. No, I wanted to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. So when I entered senior high, there was this night we were having entertainment. And I went to boogie the stage. <laughs> ah. So I, even to today, when you go there and you mention my name, they know me. Yeah. yeah. So I just I thought I was just having fun. So no till way. till till today I'm here and I'm a music fan. So yes, wow. music wasn't part of the plan. Wow, that's yes, good. Yes, yes. Um, can you tell us the exact year you started with you started your music career? Music, um, I think last two years. Professionally, I think five years ago. Yes, or four years, yes, professionally, four years. That was when I started doing my karaoke, okay. my live band. Now I had the, um, was the confidence to be on stage, to be in front of people. So yes, that's professional, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean. So yes. So the music started four, four years ago, four years I would say. Ago. Yes. Okay. So among the subjects you have studied, mm -hmm. which one do you like the best? English. English. I, I just love to write essays. So in my class, I was a... The first person or the second when it comes to essay writing okay. yes i think so i was close with my my english teacher he was the one who knew i could sing okay. yes it's called say david if he's watching me hi uh, say david hi say david <laughs> yes 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 okay. mass, mass wasn't my thing don't okay. tell anybody <laughs> so yes. um, are of <laughs> so <laughs> question okay. what made you love english what made me love english you know, when it comes to essay writing, I don't know, essay, like that part essay, you you can write a lot, you think it a lot. Yes, yeah, so I think it that is, yes, 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 yes. What first got, got me to? into music? This, are you ready for this one, this part? This part, yes. it, it's led you are. So my brother, my brother, I was singing in my house. They used to call me bedroom superstar. Can you imagine? <laughs> singing in my room. I was in yes, in my bedroom. <laughs> So one time, he, he came up to me and was like, Fatih, I want you to contest for um, hit maker. Okay. And I said, ah, I have not sung a, a, any, like, no, I can't, this thing is like on TV, everywhere, yeah. everyone is looking yeah. at you. And this guy says, so I should go and do I said, ah, are you sure? Okay, let me just go and do If they don't take me, at least. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> so we went, and God being so good, I was selected. Wow. Yes, and I went to... Uh, I think two weeks before the finals, I got evicted. Ooh. And say cry, say cry. Okay. <laughs> I, cried, I cried my eyes out, I cried, I cried. Oh. So later on, I got to realize that no, then I didn't have so much experience. So it was fair that I got evicted. It had to be given to someone who is, who is good, who is yeah. better. So there was this friend of mine, that, on that night when I got evicted, there was this judge that came, he's, he's late, may he so rest in peace. Oh. He's called Really Roy. So he told me I had the best vocals. So I went to him after I got evicted. I went to him. Then he was grooming artists. He, he used to work at Xylophone Media. I went to him. I said, "Oh, say, I want to sing. I want to be part of your your group. I want, please help me." And he said, "Okay, I should go home and go and learn 15 songs in two days. How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to learn 15 songs? But I was, I was so eager. I wanted to be part. So I went." I picked the song and started learning. So the second day when I'm supposed to go there, I was just praying in the car that, oh God, please, I know that I've not finished this song, but please let this man pick me. So I went and he asked me to sing the first song, I sang it, the second song, I sang it, the third song, I sang it. Then he, he was thinking, oh, probably I'm, I'm done with yeah. the 15 songs. So he said, oh, okay, it's okay, I've picked you. I said, thank God. Don't so you used remember to, mm -hmm. those three songs? No, no, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, but I think it's um, maybe blues or... I don't know, yes, a last song of the, yeah. So he used to go to karaoke, just karaoke. So I used to follow him. Okay. Yes. My first pay was, I think, 50 cities. I was so happy. Then by the time I get home, 25 <laughs> cities is gone. Oh. But it wasn't what about them. 
then, then I can now, fair, so. <laughs> I was really singing for fair. So I thought I go home, but it wasn't about the money. Yeah. It was about for that when I sing, people are so excited. Oh, you're good. They come, they come to you and all of that. Oh, you made me happy. There was this time I sang, and this girl has gotten broken heart. And she came to me. She was like, thank you so much. You made me relax. You made me happy. Then I started to love music more. I can, oh, I can make people happy. Be, yes. You know, be impactful and all of that. So that's how music started for me. Wow. And I went to this, um, so through karaoke, Entered life, but everything has just been by the grace of God. Yeah, sure. Somehow, God connects me to people. Yeah. As I was saying, well, I met yeah. Kwame Eugene at OKFM. Okay okay. He was my senior before, so he met that me again. In, that was in junior high, okay. St. Mark. Okay. <laughs> he used to come to our class and be drumming. <laughs> yes, yes. So we're, that, we're, we're close, we're living in the same neighborhood. So I met him there. So that, that interview, I, I didn't want to go. I was scared because I was going on radio for the first time. So I was so scared. I said, hey, I'm quite wrong. So I, 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 so I called, the person called me, the producer called me, and I told him that, oh, I can't go. I can't make it. So my mom was sitting beside me. He's not, she's not really good in English, but she heard the part that I said, I don't <laughs> think so. She said, you don't think they're being, come on, friend, I can't just solve call. So I call, So imagine if I hadn't go to yeah, that place. You wouldn't have met I wouldn't have met him. him. So sometimes when your mom talks to you, you have to listen. <laughs> yes. So I met him, and today I'm here with you guys, so and I'm so excited. So that's how music started. Yeah. Yes. Please, how do you get your music? How, how do you get your lyrics? Um, sometimes it comes off head. Sometimes it comes off head. Sometimes, too, you get motivated or inspired by certain things around you. I wrote this song called Friday Mood, and I got inspired from the fact that I love Fridays. Okay. Yes. You know, when I was in school, Fridays is when you play a lot, you close early. You close like 2 you close, <laughs> Yes. Our school used to close at, I think, 1.30. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, okay. and doing music, Fridays is when it's popping. Every, every place mm -hmm. is popping. So I love Fridays. So that's what inspired me to write that music, Friday Mood. Okay. So. And what inspired you to write your current song? Okay, my current song, what you don't know is that Kwame Eugene wrote that song. Okay. That is, um, yeah, that is um, Fallen. Yes, and featuring him himself, yes. Okay, wow, yes. wonderful. Yes. Did you not like music before you started making it? Okay, um, and if I do answer your question, but before that, you're going for a quick break, we'll be right back. It's Bambini time. Bambini, Bambini, I'm a little children, it's Bambini. I'm that fun, in various fun, but it's an educational team. Did you not like music before you started making it? So I said I like music, but it wasn't something I was going to embark on as a career. Okay. You get it? But I, I loved, in fact, I loved music before. Yes. Okay. Any other Do you sing in the shower? Oh, of course. <laughs> what did that? <laughs> okay. If you do, which song do you sing? Mm, my song. I don't know if, are you ready for an acapella? Yeah, yeah. sure. You're going to help me sing it? Yeah, sure. Okay. One, two, three. I'm going to put your mics on you. Okay. okay. Call my phone any day, and I go to your door. If I have to choose, I go choose a door. Make them come, make them come. Mm. I go fight for love. Soldier, go soldier, come. Me a day for one, for one. Oh, send me an adult, my sweetie, the love. Baby, give me some more. I'm ready for war. Hey, oh, send me an adult, my sweetie, the love. Baby, give me some more. I'm ready for war. Falling, falling, I'm falling, falling for you. Falling, falling, I'm falling, falling for you. Falling, falling. Falling, falling for it. Falling, falling. I'm falling, falling for it. Oh, my lover, lover. My city, she got, she got. Oh, my lover. I'm falling, falling for you. Yeah, that's Thank what I was saying. Thank you so much. Wow, wow. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I dedicate that song to you guys. Oh, thank I'm you. For <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you ever gotten into a serious struggle before? 
serious trouble. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> this one, if I tell you, you laugh at me. Okay. Well, you are not going to laugh. Yeah, promise me you laugh. <laughs> you already laughing. That means you are going to laugh. No one is going to. Okay, so one time there was light out, and my dad told me to go and put this candle on top of the fridge. You get it? So <laughs> I was supposed to put a candle on top. It had a fire on light. Yeah. I was supposed to put it on top. Then I opened the fridge and I put... <laughs> I put it inside the fridge. Hey, that day, that day. You know, I'll tell you what happened that day. So that was, I think that was the one that I remember. Yes. Okay, what happened? I didn't know. My father. <laughs> I'll tell you back, backstage. Okay, sure. no problem. <laughs> wow, that is so interesting. Dedicate one message to your fans out there. Ah, uh, if I'm supposed to dedicate one message, what I would say is to my fans is don't be prideful and be grateful. It's a currency. Be always grateful. Do not subtract God from your journey because God is able. I recommend Jesus to everyone out there. Okay. Yes, he has helped me a lot. Please, can you describe the music you typically make? Um, it's a high life music and it's a love song. Yes, so basically. Okay. What type of music do you like? High life. Yes. <laughs> I love high life. I love um, this song. Teresa. Teresa, 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 Teresa. I love everything high life. And Afrobeat, yeah, but I love high life most. Okay. Yes. So if you were to go open on a show or a concert, if, if you are likely uh, to show, go show, yeah, open concert. on a show or, a, or on a, a concert, concert yeah. for an artist, who will it be? Mm, I think Efia and Riala. Okay. Yes. I mean, all the artists. I mean, if I can, all the artists. Of course. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, I always wanted to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. like, what's your favorite sport? Oh, do I have a favorite sport? <laughs> I like everyone that is playing football, so football. Oh, okay. Football, yes. Which, which food do you like best? Mm, jollof and turkey. Okay. Yes. Everybody says jollof and chicken. Chicken, right. I, I like, I like turkey, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's your favorite color? My favorite color? First, I used to like black. But I don't know, they said it's not good, it's weird, right? <laughs> it's not really weird. It's a very amazing Thank color. Thank you. Yeah. Tell them, it's nice. Black is nice. I mean, so yes, black. Okay. Because he said it's not weird. Black. <laughs> Who inspired you to make music? Ah, I, I would say the crowd. They inspired me. Because I knew that what I was given was good. So they inspired me to do music. Yes, I won't say a particular artist, artist. did. But in a way, Kwame Eugene influenced me to become an artist. Okay. Yes, so. Okay. And um, please, who is your role model? My mother. My baby mama. My mama. <laughs> She's my role model. Why yes. is she your role model? I love that woman so much. She has always been in supportive of what I do. Okay. Yes. She, she's my hero. She's everything. Okay. And my brother, too. Oh, okay. Yes. I will say he is the reason why I'm here today. Aww. Because if he hadn't forced me like Chin Chan Chai, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be here. So yes. Okay. My family is like they are supporting me hundred and one percent. Yeah. So they are I hold them very dear to my heart. Okay. They come first. And which artists do you admire? Kwame Eugene. Mm -hmm. Not because of um, because anything, but you. you should you should spend time with him and you should be with him. He knows how to do everything. He knows how to play the beat, play piano, play everything, play drums, <laughs> sing, everything. write. Like you should be like, yes. So I'll say yes. I mean, I want to also be like him, know how to do everything. Mm -hmm. So yes, he's like my favorite art. When you are sad, what will you do? When I'm sad, what do I do? Yeah. I, I listen to music and sometimes I watch movies. It helps to get my mind off. Okay. Yes, and sometimes I pray about how I'm feeling because yeah. yes, sometimes. Um, so like, which religion do you belong to? I'm a Christian. Even though I bear the name Fati, yes, I'm a Christian. So it's like, is your mother a Christian, your yes. father is a my, Muslim? My father is a Muslim and my mom is a Christian. Yes. So you chose to be? I chose. 
God shows you, I didn't choose. <laughs> We are saving the same God. Yeah, I know. Yes, of course, of course. Who would you like most to collaborate with? Collaborate, um, Ghana or outside? Ghana. Yeah. I have a song with um Kwame. So I would want to have a song with um Sakodia mm -hmm. or Eno Baroni mm -hmm. or every artist. Yes, because who doesn't want good so things? You, you mentioned the rap god and the rap goddess. And the rap. Oh, Charlie, I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Charlie, big ups to them. Yeah. What other talents do you have? I can draw. I, I love to draw. Yes, I want to again. Yeah, drawing. Mm. I think I have another one, but I've forgotten. <laughs> so I, th I think I literally do everything. I'm good with my hands. I did my own makeup. Wow. So yes, I learned it on YouTube. It's not like someone taught me. So I think I'm literally good with my hands. I like to design. Yes. So anything that's yes. Please Do music. Please, is Kwame using the first musician you've sung with? Yes. Yes, the first musician I've sung with. And oh, I've done a couple, but I wasn't out yet. Mm -hmm. But he's the first like big artist. I've, I've ever collaborated with, so yes. We are all wrapping up with Auntie Fatim, but we've all learned something. She has said a lot, and we've all learned something. So we want to know what each and everyone here has learned from Auntie Fatim, okay? So I'll start off with you. Well, from what I've heard, I've learned that we shouldn't be greedy. Okay. What about you? Always be with God no matter what. Ah, okay. We should have confidence. Never be prideful. Never be prideful. <laughs> and I also oh. learned that when it's your calling, just respond to it. Great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you have to tell our viewers? Um, first of all, I want to thank you so much for having me on your show. I'm really happy. And everyone out there, just be confident in yourself. You can do it. You just have to train yourself a little more and you can do it. You can follow me on all my social media platforms. It's Fatty Music. You can stream my song on all um, musical platforms. And you can follow me on YouTube, okay. Fatty Music. Thank you so much so, for having um, me. The Fatty Music, can you spell it for us? Because everybody has a different spelling. It's a, it's a music. The, the Q, um, the C is with a Q. Q. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And Fatty, F A T I. Okay. You just change the C to Q. To Q. Yes. That's all. Okay, so Fatim music everywhere. Yeah. We have a surprise for her. Okay. Oh. There's a lot. There's a lot to unveil. Okay. So keep watching Bambini. We'll be right back. Bambi!
Wow, we are done. We are done with the choreography. You see the surprise that we gave to Fati. It was so amazing. So here is where we are ending everything. Keep watching Bambini. Follow us on all our social media platforms. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Everywhere. Bambini TV. My name is Nane Kriyadma. And today we came to be Grace International Montessori. See you same time next week. So, Bambini.